Hi everybody and welcome back to the seesaw. It is Friday on a very long four-day bank holiday weekend for us. It was Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday for the Queen's Jubilee. Um, so we did something a bit different today. We have been wanting to go and try and take a look at farm foods. So farm foods is a bit like Iceland if you don't have one near you. Um, in fact, very similar to Iceland. And uh, there's not one kind of a normal grocery shop drive from us, but there is one little bit further afield. So we decided to go and take a look and see what they got. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't get most of what I wanted for the grocery shop from there, although we did get some bits and pieces to try and what have you um, and to stock up on a few things. So then on the way back, we just stopped at the little Asda in our town and just picked up the rest of the things I need for the week. And there's only one thing I haven't been able to get at either. So in fact, I could have got them at Farm Foods, but they were in too big a pack that I didn't need that much. And so I'll just pick up a smaller pack during the week at the at Tesco's or somewhere. So we spent £70 at Farm Foods and we spent another £60 at Asda. However, probably about £50 of that was just extra stuff, things that I wouldn't definitely normally buy um tony was with me so he picked up some things that he'd been wanting to try and some snacks and things for him so there's probably about 50 pounds of that that wasn't part of the normal grocery shop and so i think probably overall we came in around budget for what we needed for meals this week so let me turn you around let me show you what i got i've just got it all mixed together on the counter here so not particularly highlighting what we got from each store um but uh yeah we did get quite a lot um, and I definitely have, apart from that one thing, everything I need for our meals this week. So let me show you what we got. And at the end, as always, I'll show you our meal plan for the week ahead. OK, so there is the sweep of everything. I've actually got frozen stuff mostly at the end there because we Tony dropped me at Asda and then he came and put the frozen stuff into the freezer and then came back and picked me up. So we just pulled all the frozen stuff out just now as we were putting the, the shopping out. So non-food items, I just picked up a couple of birthday cards. We've got some birthdays coming up. So um, for their basic range of birthday cards, Asda do three for three pounds. So I just picked up three birthday cards and a TV magazine, of course. And then in the back here, I've got a cherry blossom surf, which is a really lovely fragrance for the surf. Um, the old El Paso things were in Asda were three things for three pound fifty. So I've got some tortillas and some stand and stuff shells and then I've got something else further along. At Farm Foods, the Nutella Be Ready, which if you're a regular viewer will know is one of Caleb's favourite snacks. These were two packs for three pounds and they're normally two pounds for one pack. So uh, the, he got two packs of those just to give him a little stock of those. He picked out these loaded fries, cheese and bacon. So these are crisps, but they're like fries. And cheese and bacon flavour. He asked if we could get some regular jam donuts when we were in Asda from the bakery. Got a medium loaf of bread, um, just a small one. We've still got some bread left. I got four brioche burger buns. I spotted these cheese scones in the Asda bakery, and I do love a cheese scone. So uh, I was starting to feel a bit hungry, lunchtime hungry, and decided to just grab some of those. I'm going to make myself something with the cheese scones for lunch in a moment. Half a dozen eggs. Um, my sort of treaty things that were in farm foods, I spotted these lemon drizzle cake chunkies, which are like kind of soft, fluffy cookies, but with lemon chunks in them, which I thought would be nice. And then, of course, my Viscount mint bars. There's nine in the pack and they were a pound. Caleb has been wanting a soft pretzel for ages and they had them on the bakery counter at Asda, so he got those. Also, you will know he's a bit addicted to anything slush puppy and he spotted these slush puppy marshmallow bars. I don't know if he's going to like those, actually, but he'll give them a try. And then chocolate cluster mini bites, which he does like. Tony picked out three bottles of this Tango Dark Berry. I think it was three bottles for a fixed price. How much was it? Three for three. Three for three pounds. So they were a pound a bottle, which is good. I've got some Crucial's barbecue sauce. This giant bottle of Crusher strawberry milkshake mix makes 40 milkshakes and that was £1.99 I think for the huge bottle. And then I spotted on their shelf some Tizer. I haven't had Tizer since I was a child. It used to be a kind of a treat sort of pop 
Um, it's a British brand and uh, I just felt a bit nostalgic really <laughs> and picked a bottle up and so I'll be having some of that this week. Kebab House, the garlic sauce, which is the Havana Club one, which is quite tasty. Talking about being nostalgic, Tony spotted Twinkies and they had two boxes for... No, it wasn't two boxes for three pounds. It was two boxes for how much? Seven. Seven. And so these you're paying usually in Tesco's and Sainsbury's and places. They have them marked at about five pounds for one box. So obviously an American thing. There's 10 bars in each pack. So there's 20 bars there for seven pounds. And then we spotted these, which again, regular viewers will know Caleb likes the kind of sport energy drinks, just the still ones. And these were a pack of 12 for, I forget how much they were, about £3, I think. £3.50. £3.50. Um, and so they're 59p individually priced, but they're in a pack of 12, and he picked the cherry flavour. They had three or four different flavours of those. In Asda, he picked up some of this Uncle Ben's Peri Peri, or Ben's Original, as it's now called, Peri Peri Rice. Um he discovered this the other day when I had some for lunch with a fried egg on the top and he he then had the other pack the next day and in Asda they had three packs for a price I can't remember what it was but they were three for deal so we got that the other old El Paso item I got was some sliced jalapenos because we use those on a few things some sweet corn just to have a stock just to put um, some in the pantry I haven't got any in two mug shots just to keep my work stash um, stocked up some beef jerky two little packages of the teriyaki stir fry sauce a couple of seasonings that i needed garlic salt chili powder and cumin so just stocked up on those uh this large marvelous creations dairy milk bar this is the one with the popping candy in i think no jelly pop it yeah jelly popping candy so caleb asked if he could have that for a treat and then at Farm Foods, they had the Giant Packs, eight bars of Rice Krispie Squares, and they had a good price on them. A large Basmati rice. At Asda, they had two for three pounds on the Nescaf Gold um, lattes, which I quite like. So I got a vanilla and a toffee nut. The Nutella biscuits, which Caleb has been wanting to try, uh, they had a special pricing on a Farm Food. I think they were pound fifty for the bag, and I think they're normally £2 something. We spotted these French Toast Crunch. Now, I've seen Cinnamon Toast Crunch, which I actually quite like, but I do love French Toast. And so this is a French Toast Crunch cereal. So that's just a little cereal treat. I think Tony must have picked these up. Pop-Tarts, yes. Strawberry Sensation. So they had several different flavours of Pop-Tarts at Farm Foods. And then Tony also got these Peanut Crunch uh, Protein Bars. He got two packs of those, uh, 10, 10 individually wrapped bars. So that's quite good. Um, little package deal we got some low fat squirty cream some happy monkey smoothies tango tango blue raspberry ice lollies liquid ice i'm not really sure what those are but <laughs> caleb pete and we do still have plenty of ice creams left from the iceland hall but he spotted these and asked if he could have them <coughs> again talking about nostalgia i spotted a black forest gatto and as it's Jubilee weekend, I just decided to get one of those to have for pudding the rest of the weekend. Some pork loin steaks, two packages of thigh fillets, two packages of Cumberland sausages and a large whole chicken. The item I wanted was chicken, fresh chicken wings. They didn't have any in Asda and in farm foods, they did have the big bags of like two, three kilos of chicken wings, like just plain chicken wings, not seasoned or anything. Uh, but that was too many and we don't have a lot of freezer space so I didn't want to take that bigger bag of them. So I will just pop and get a little tray of chicken wings before we need them in the week. A large bag of British potatoes, some carrots, some strawberries that look really tasty. Strawberry season is upon us. Cucumber, a sweet and crunchy salad, a broccoli, some royal gala, apples, some sweet and fruity baby plum tomatoes and then the rest of the frozen bits are the bits that we picked up at farm food so I got some crispy southern fries some jacket potatoes Caleb picked up these little scampi bites he does look he's always loved scampi since he was quite small and he hasn't had any for ages so he's picked some of those up some french fries some broccoli florets a 
there. And I saw sliced rhubarb in their refrigerator, in their frozen fruit section. I do love a rhubarb crumble, so I can just take some of that out and make some stewed rhubarb for kind of just for me. Fries to go for Caleb. Some country vegetable mix. This is just our usual sort of blend of vegetables there. And then two packs of these crispy shredded chicken, salt and pepper. I think Tony picked those out. There's two packs of those. And one pack of the hot and spicy chicken wings, which Caleb picked out. These are the kind of bread battered um, chicken wings. And I'll let you get from the takeaway. So that is the haul. A bit of a blended mix, as I say. Uh, plenty of snacky things again. Um, stopped us back up on those. Probably won't need to buy snacks for another couple of weeks. Uh, we're still doing okay on ice creams. Um, did pick up a large milk somewhere, mm. but I don't see it. I think Tony might have put it in the fridge. So there was a milk as well from Farm Foods, so that needs to be added in. And uh, just realised that as I was just looking back across the counter. But looking at her, there's my little helper with the milk. Yeah. Uh, say a large four pint of milk, and because Kayla picked up the crusher milkshake syrup there's plenty of milk there for him to make milkshakes so looking at our meal plan so today is friday we're just finishing up last week's meal plan we're having pasta bolognese tonight tomorrow we're going to have sausage and mash with veg sunday we're going to have a roast chicken we're going to try roast chicken in our ninja and see how we get on with that okay lots of good reports about it monday we'll have pork chops with the baked potatoes and some salad tuesday i'm going to do teriyaki chicken with broccoli and rice Wednesday the chicken wings which I'll pick up before Wednesday with fries and salad and I'm just going to make them barbecue style chicken wings. Thursday um, tacos with Mexican rice so I'm going to use a pack of the chicken thighs season them up with kind of Mexican style seasoning and cook them through and then just chop them up so we can have them in tortillas or the little tortilla boats with some salad and cheese and what have you and then I'll make some Mexican rice on the side. And then Friday, I've got those crispy chicken burgers that we got from Iceland in the freezer. So I'm going to cook those up and have those for chicken burgers on Friday night. I've got some sliced cheese. We'll have some bits of salad and stuff around and then we'll make some chips to have with those. So that is our meal plan for the week ahead. Thank you for joining us for this grocery haul and we look forward to seeing you back here on the Seesaw soon.